What's MetaMask? Who's the company that's building it? And can they be trusted? Welcome to Whiteboard Crypto, the number one YouTube channel for crypto education. Here, we explain topics of the cryptocurrency world using analogies, stories, and examples so that anyone can easily understand them. In this video, we're going to be covering MetaMask, Consensus, and a new platform they're launching. Let's dig in. This video was sponsored by Consensus, which we'll get to in a minute, but I'm here today to tell you about a new platform they're launching called MetaMask Learn. MetaMask Learn is an educational platform that helps you understand what Web3 is, what makes it so interesting, and how to use some of the tools in the space, especially their self-custody wallet MetaMask. Well, in the style of MetaMask, this platform is sleek and clean, and it provides an interactive and simulated environment that will help onboard people new to self-custody safely using MetaMask. The purpose of this platform is to guide new users through the most common topics to help them learn about Web3 topics like crypto wallets, NFTs, and DAOs. Since some recent events in the crypto space, people are becoming more and more aware that they can't trust their crypto to big centralized exchanges like FTX, Voyager, and Celsius. Due to this, it's more important than ever to learn how to actually control your own crypto. Hold it for yourself so that nobody else has control of it. MetaMask Learn seems to be addressing this problem. Here, let me just show you some of it. All right, if we pop on over to learn.metamask.io, you'll see the homepage here. If I start to scroll down, you'll see that this page is filled with art and a bunch of useful information. Uh, if we scroll down here to the bottom, you can actually see the outline of the course uh, from chapters one to chapter eight. I'm actually gonna go ahead and go into chapter one. If you're curious, this is available in up to 10 different languages, but we're gonna stay in English for this video. So if I scroll down here, I could learn about Web3, but I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom so that you can see the simulation. So here's a simulation. I'm gonna go ahead and click Start Simulation, and it's basically just gonna show me some interactive stuff about the differences between Web1, Web2, and Web3. You can see they've got a fake login here. We can click Login, and it won't work because we've forgotten our password. Next, let's go to Web2. So Web2 is probably something you've seen before where we've seen login with Google, login with Twitter, login with Facebook, and it's as simple as clicking login because you've probably already signed into the browser. You can see how much easier that was. Next, let's go to Web3, which is as simple as connecting MetaMask. We connect and then we sign a request. And now we're done. Just like that, we've logged in with Web3. So we can either restart the simulation or go on to the next one, uh, which will be about crypto wallets. If you want to view all lessons, you can click view all lessons and you can skip around to what you want to learn about. You can see in these eight lessons, we'll get to learn about Web3, crypto wallets, digital identities, self-custody, digital ownership, NFTs and their creators, decentralized finance, and the age of communities, which mostly focuses on DAOs. Again, the website is learn.metamask.io. Let's get back to the video. Moving on, let me give you a quick explanation of what MetaMask is. I'm gonna break it up into four groups. It's an open source, self-custody wallet for Ethereum and Ethereum-like blockchains that can be used as an extension to a web browser or as a mobile app. Let's break each one of these down. Open source is a term that means the code is publicly accessible and viewable by anyone. This means that you can actually go and look at the MetaMask code yourself to look for bugs or even malicious code. Now, being open source doesn't automatically mean there's not malicious code, but it usually means that it is open to the community and that there have been a ton of other eyes on the code. And if there was malicious code, someone would have probably already found it. Next, I said that MetaMask is a self-custody wallet. A wallet is a term in the cryptocurrency world that simply means it's software designed to be able to hold your crypto and let you make transactions on your behalf. Technically, what the software is holding is the private keys needed to sign transactions for your crypto. MetaMask itself can actually hold hundreds of different accounts within it, not just a single account, and you can move your accounts from one device to another, but you'll have to move the private key as well. The self-custody part simply means that you, and only you, are the only person with the power to move your crypto. This is very different from when you give your crypto to some place like Coinbase or Binance, where they hold it for you. This is actually a great place to say that you can learn more about what self-custody is and how it works within MetaMask Learn's chapter on it. Now, in addition to the phone app, MetaMask is most often used as a browser extension for transactions. This means that it's specifically a tool that adds onto your web browser, whether that be Chrome, Brave, Firefox, or Edge. MetaMask is local to your computer only, and they don't save any information to the cloud. This is a big deal and it's pretty important, and what it means is that your MetaMask can only get hacked if someone gets access to the computer that you have it installed on, not some server that's halfway across the world. 
MetaMask only stores your keys on your computer. This means if you want to move your wallet from your desktop to your laptop, the only way to do it is to copy and paste and move your private keys over. There's also a phone application you can use for mobile transactions. Finally, MetaMask follows the ERC standard, which basically means it currently only works on blockchains that use Ethereum technology. This, of course, means Ethereum, but also chains like Polygon, Avalanche, Binance Smart Chain, and many other flavors of Ethereum. This also means that MetaMask doesn't currently work with popular non-EVM chains like Bitcoin, Solana, or Cardano. But who's behind MetaMask? Who organized the creation of MetaMask Learn? Well, that'd be consensus. Consensus is the parent company behind MetaMask. Consensus is a global software company that specifically focuses on blockchain technology. Even more so, up until now they've mostly focused on EVM chains like Ethereum, Polygon, or Binance. But they've recently announced their integration with non-EVM compatible blockchains with some of their newer products. And it should be noted that Consensus was founded by Joseph Lubin, who is also the co-founder of Ethereum. In March of 2022, the company was valued at over $7 billion. The interesting thing about Consensus is that they work to build infrastructure, products, and services for the Ethereum ecosystem and other Web3 decentralized technologies. Their two flagship products are MetaMask and Infura. MetaMask, as we already talked about, is the world's leading self-custody Web3 wallet, and Infura is a developer platform to help scale and enable developers to build out new blockchain-enabled apps. Both of these are free to use and don't require any permission. Overall, MetaMask is a must-have tool for anyone wanting to learn and use the apps of Web3. I highly encourage you to give the new MetaMask Learn platform a glance, even if you're a seasoned crypto user. You can use the link in the description below. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you learned something. And most of all, I hope to see you in our next video.